Yes, this is Steve Beaudry. We're here with uh, Police Magazine at the 2011 Michigan State Police Test. And uh, we're looking at some of the new police motorcycles that are being offered for the coming season. Uh, this is the new Kawasaki 14P uh, police motorcycle. And uh, we're going to show you some of the features today uh, that this bike has. Uh, uh, we're looking at a 1400 cc 155 horsepower uh, motorcycle here with 102 foot pounds of torque uh, ABS traction control is also standard equipment along with heated grips uh, electric height adjustable windshield uh, it has a uh, Whelan designed siren and lighting control system on the bike uh, it comes standard with a uh, 10 LED light head uh, emergency light heads uh, setup we're going to go over some of the standard features of the new Kawasaki 14P police motorcycle. And uh, one of the features is the new infinitely adjustable heated grips. Um, that's standard for 2010, will continue on for 2011. And uh, that is a, one, of our, one of our newest features that we've got on the bike that's, that is standard. And then we've got uh, height adjustable windshield that is infinitely adjustable. It also has uh, three programmable uh, height control in it too, so you can pre-program it in three different steps of however tall you want the windshield to be when you key the ignition on. Uh, this bike is also equipped with standard traction control. Um, that's the K-Act button here on the left handlebar control. And then we also have the uh, a, a two-mode link braking system. Uh, it can be put into a sport mode with a uh, less rear link brake and then we can also go into a full touring mode with a full link brake system so the bike can actually be trail brake you know doing you know, cone patterns and things like that for uh, uh, slow course use. Uh, some of the other features we have is a headlight cut, taillight cut switch uh, and then our rear emergency only flasher switch too uh, is that one right there and then uh, we have a progressive push for the emergency lighting and it has four programmable push modes on it and then we have a programmable three-tone 100-watt siren system, which is progressive push also. And some of the other features are uh, left and right independent headlight adjustment. And, and we have on our trip computer, we have uh, in, independent tire pressure monitors that will read in one-pound increments. We have battery voltage, outside temp, ambient temperature, average miles per gallon, current miles per gallon, fuel range and then we also have gear selector will tell us what gear we're in Let's see if we can drop a gear for you here you can just not and it's show you show you what gear and it's a six-speed transmission also so it'll show every gear that you're in at that time bike also has a, a keyless remote. The bike does not use an ignition key. It has a, a key fob that you can the officer can keep in his pocket. It has a se seven foot range so that uh, he never has to worry about getting the key and ignition, you know, on a pursuit. He can just get right on the motorcycle, push the button, the starter button, and just, and just uh, immediately take off. You got front and rear 12 volt uh, sockets. Uh, the front dash socket uh, charges the uh, main battery and the rear socket will charge the auxiliary battery that has a twin battery system with a 12 port emergency fuse box which is separate from the uh, standard fuse box okay we have a 35 liter removable saddle bag it has a 22 pound payload capacity uh, there's also uh, nylon briefcases that are available for this uh, for each side they come as a pair and then we also have a saddle bag partition that can be added here that actually makes the bag act like a top load saddle bag uh, it's easily removable easy to take off. Nice thing is that your bike's bags can be removed for training which is really important so they don't get damaged. And uh, some of the other features that this bike has is it's come standard with the LED license plate ID lights, uh, optional rear uh, brake tail light, emergency, auxiliary brake and tail light. Uh, we have a rear radar scope mount there's also the availability of external LEDs that will be that fit right above the license plate frame, uh, rear uh, duplex lights also, and of course of our side lights and our emergency side turn signals too, which are activated as rear uh, emergency lights off of the rear emergency only switch. This bike has a wet clutch. It's also a slipper clutch. Very easy to replace in under two hours. Um, it's uh, like I said, it's a 1400 cc. 
uh, engine, liquid cooled, dual cooling fans, uh, 155 horsepower, 102 foot pounds of torque. It is a six speed transmission, shaft drive with a Tetra, a non jacking uh, rear suspension system. It also has uh, eight pre uh, preload adjustment on the rear shock, along with compression and rebound dampening. The front uh, forks, cartridge forks, are hydraulic, uh, which also has a uh, spring preload adjustment and compression and rebound dampening on the front forks. The bike comes standard with high performance wave rotors, uh, which are usually aftermarket, and monoblock four piston uh, brake calipers, which usually you would see on a, on a sport bike or a race bike. This, this bike will outbrake any other motorcycle that's on the, on the market. And as far as, uh, as, uh, as speed, handling, this bike is, is just setting all new standards uh, in, in the police motorcycle field. There's just, it's just second to none. A three-year unlimited mileage warranty on this motorcycle. Uh, it's a uh, you know, very, very proven platform. You can see the, the pod mounting system for the, for the front LEDs. This is part of the standard equipment package. Uh, each pod will hold a 90, a 45 degree, and a forward facing uh, emergency light in uh, multiple or split uh, uh, colored lenses and mirrors are breakaway uh, protection bars or come in chrome or a powder coat finish there's no upcharge for that either uh, like i said adjustable windshield adjustable levers also for the different uh, length of fingers of the of the officer may have for the reach of the of the clutch and brake lever and but it's, it's, it's a great, great package. A 100-watt Wheeland siren system with three tones and uh, all integrated. The, the lighting control module has a 32 programmable uh, uh, lighting flash control pattern on it that you can just push the button and, and scroll through all 32 patterns on it. Low, like I said, low, uh, low maintenance rear differential uh, shaft drive and uh, 18,000 mile intervals for valve adjustment. Uh, just a very easy bike to maintain. The steering lock, uh, like how how, how tight, tight it'll turn. An officer can turn yes, the bike yeah. around the corner. Yes, yeah. Correct. Like yeah. Maybe, maybe talk a little bit about how you can use it on patrol stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Coming out of a parking lot, you know, to catch a speeder and stuff like you that. You bet. Uh, the nice thing about the 2010 Model 2, it has enhanced uh, steering radius, turning radius, so the bike turns quite a bit uh, sharper than the consumer version does. Uh, the bike, the police model, comes with different suspension settings. It has a 503-pound payload. Uh, we have special uh, run flat certified uh, tires from Bridgestone on this motorcycle. Bike has a uh, speed limited uh, top end of about 130 miles an hour. Uh, like I said, six speed transmission, six gear is an overdrive. And it also has an economy mode that is switchable so that you can go in and receive 25% more fuel economy on this, on this motorcycle too at highway speeds, which is what, you know, this day and age of fuel economy is important, especially with a bike with this much horsepower you can get uh, an average of about 38 to 43 miles per gallon on this bike on the on the interstate. It uh, has about a six gallon fuel tank and uh, like I said it's a twin battery system. It has its own 12 port fuse, uh, fuse box for emergency equipment only. Nothing is attached to the uh, to the main battery. Everything is, all the emergency equipment is, is, is uh, powered through the auxiliary battery uh, so that the bike will always start even if the battery is ran completely dead. Uh, the bike can start off of its main battery with no problem, pick the auxiliary battery back up, and then have all the lights and siren system work properly um, the way they should. So you never, the officer's never without his emergency package ever. Um, it's just, it's, it's got a great price point. Uh, that's one of the best things about the Kawasaki is it's, it's a lot of motorcycle for the, for the value. Uh, and low service, low cost. Uh, low maintenance and uh, it's just a good overall package and we look for good things to, from this bike in 2011.